if we clear out the lines, the most entrancing star I recognize is the star that could flabbergast in our sky. It is this one, creepy crawly juice or scarab smash. It's a red, very monstrous star. Also, on the vague possibility that you put it, where the sun is, it would reach out to the circle of Jupiter. It's colossal completely, capricious and going to explode. It's not as clear as it appears to be in the universe. These monstrous occasions, like the most ludicrously feared tremendous starbursts, could shake all that we see. Anyway, do whatever it takes not to see its middle. Betelgeuse has been seen as a sign, a red, exceptionally monstrous star that is commonly more critical than our sun. Brian Cox and other space specialists figure it could go supernova, which has made individuals frightened about what will occur next. The James Webb Space Telescope is taking shocking photographs of the star, raising the question of when Betelgeuse will turn into a supernova and what titanic impact it will have on Earth. We should sort out the star in the fabulous constellation Orion, which sparkles so brilliantly that even people from long ago have seen it. The superb star, Bug Jew, is situated on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. It is the second largest star in the constellation, and its name comes from this component, the monster shoulder. It is conceivably one of the brightest stars in the night sky. On top of being astoundingly brilliant, the star is additionally an odd shade of red, which, as we will see, suggests trouble. We've had some tremendous experience with bug juice for quite a while. A Greek astronomer named TMY also studied it. Around that time, the essential thing people recognized about stars was their color, and TMY said that it was a orange, negligible animal juice in variety. Scientists have been focusing on the star considerably more eagerly of late, and presently they have a brilliant idea of what makes it so curiously bright. One of these attributes is that the star changes brightness a lot, with an apparent magnitude of 0.6. Insect Jew is a variable. Star, meaning its brightness, changes over time. Recently, experts have found new information about the star. In 2019, specialists first observed that creepy crawly juice was acting strangely. Even though bug juice didn't completely stop shining, it wasn't the same. It had become considerably less bright, shining at a magnitude of around 1.6. Scientists quickly began to investigate why they were seeing the tenth brightest star above in this eccentric manner. Experts expected to offer a surprising explanation based on their research, which revealed unusual signals from the star. According to their findings, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a famous scientist, shared this surprisingly hazardous explanation. As a distinguished professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Astronomy, you shouldn't take his viewpoint as a joke. He also hosts science shows, writes popular science books, and is the Royal Society's Professor for Public Engagement with Science. Brian Cox says that creepy crawly juice seems like a ticking time bomb since it could go off without warning. To make matters worse, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided overwhelming evidence to support this theory. But what unpredictable signals has Betelgeuse been emitting that have caused so much concern in space science? With the new information about Betelgeuse, the star has been labeled a supernova candidate. Despite this, scientists are still unsure when it will explode. The fact that creepy crawly juice is twice the mass of the sun is one reason for this classification. A star, they say, should be several times the mass of the sun to be classified as a supernova. Things get really interesting, however, because researchers have used different tools to study creepy crawly juice. For example, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory have been used to examine what's happening in space around Betelgeuse. What they found remains a mystery. It was born on August 31st, a very long time ago. Around that time, the star 
Scarab Squeeze reportedly displayed bizarre signs that made its future uncertain. What did they find? They detected unusual light waves coming from the star. Or rather, from above, creepy, crawly juice, which is incredibly intriguing. However, that wasn't the only thing experts noticed about the star. This brings us back to the idea that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness fluctuates over time. It was said that Betelgeuse dimmed at regular intervals and had dark spots similar to our sun, but times have changed. Now it transitions from bright to dim, twice as fast as it used to. Another astonishing sign. In February 2021, scientists observed that the star's dimming cycle had hit a remarkable low, reaching a magnitude of 1.61. This came shortly after the Great Dimming Event. Remember how the star seemed to fade mysteriously in 2019? That's because it became known as the Great Dimming. Many feared this was a sign that Betelgeuse was about to explode. Between 2019 and 2020, its dimming reached 1.2 magnitudes, the lowest recorded dimming in history. Experts were convinced that creepy Crawley Jew would go supernova within the next 100,000 years. However, something changed. Scientists quickly revised their opinions. When they saw what happened next, Betelgeuse became brighter again after the great dimming, and it transformed into something even more radiant. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says the star is now 150% brighter than usual, making it the seventh brightest star in the sky. Scientists were alarmed when they saw a red glow in the southern part of the sky. Today, things get even more interesting. This has led to different theories about what caused the great dimming. First, it's important to note that not all stars exhibit the red glow of Betelgeuse. The red glow of Betelgeuse indicates that it is a red supergiant star, the final stage of a star's life. However, the red glow is also caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, significantly cooler than the outer layer of the sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since creepy crawly juice is cooler than our sun, it emits less energy per unit of surface area, despite being much larger. So, Will Betelgeuse explode? Brian Cox asks, Does this really mean scarab juice will go supernova? The truth is, the fact that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant already suggests that it is nearing the end of its life. A dying star frequently dims over time, something scientists understand. However, Betelgeuse's new behavior has made experts much more focused. Many telescopes are now Closely observing its unusual dimming, scientists are using the most cutting-edge tools to monitor the strange events surrounding Betelgeuse. If Bug Jude detonates it, will be the first supernova observed since Johannes Kepler witnessed one in 1604. For now, experts remain uncertain. Only time will tell when this enigmatic star meets its end. Scientists remain on high alert closely monitoring Betelgeuse's every fluctuation. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and other advanced observatories are capturing detailed images, helping researchers understand what might happen next. However, despite the recent brightening and dimming episodes, no one can precisely predict when Betelgeuse will go supernova. The timeline could range from a few decades to 100,000 years, a mere blink in cosmic terms, but a vast stretch of time for humanity. What will happen when Betelgeuse explodes? When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, it will be one of the most spectacular astronomical events ever witnessed. Scientists estimate that its explosion will be as bright as a full moon, or possibly even brighter, invisible during the day for weeks or months. If Betelgeuse had been positioned closer to Earth, its explosion might have posed a significant threat. Fortunately, at about 640 light years away, it is far enough that its supernova will not endanger life on Earth. Instead, it will offer scientists an unprecedented opportunity to study the death of a massive star in real time. It could help astronomers refine their understanding of stellar evolution, supernova physics, 
a neutron star, or black hole formation. What comes after the supernova? Once Betelgeuse explodes, there are two likely outcomes. One, it may leave behind a neutron star, a super-dense remnant only a few miles across, but containing more mass than our sun. Two, it could collapse into a black hole if enough of its core remains after the explosion. Which of these fates Betelgeuse will meet depends on its exact mass, which is still debated. What can we learn from Betelgeuse? Betelgeuse is teaching us valuable lessons about the lives and deaths of massive stars. The data gathered from its changes in brightness, dust ejections, and eventual explosion will be used to understand other red supergiants throughout the universe. Moreover, the study of Betelgeuse has raised important questions about stellar physics, the role of magnetic fields in supernova events, and how dust clouds affect our observations of space. Conclusion a ticking time bomb in the sky. Betelgeuse remains one of the most fascinating objects in the night sky, a star on the brink of destruction, yet unpredictable in its timing. Scientists continue to watch, measure, and analyze every change, hoping to catch the moment it finally erupts into a spectacular supernova. Until then, we can only gaze up at Orion's shoulder and wonder. Will tonight be the night that Betelgeuse vanishes in a brilliant cosmic explosion? Without predisposition, very conceivably one of the most charming stars, and maybe the most shocking in our sky, is Betelgeuse habitually alluded to as Betelgeuse. This red beast star, at whatever point set where the sun is, would stretch out to Jupiter's circle. This amazingly enormous, flimsy star is on the edge of an effect. The universe doesn't work in such direct terms. Strange, vast occasions like cosmic explosion events have the potential to totally disturb our perspective, an idea that may likely occur. Anyway, while the chance of Betelgeuse going supernova looms, researchers are still working to grasp the specific course of events of its death. As analysts continue to gather information from the most exceptional space telescopes, for example, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, they stay mindful about foreseeing an approaching blast, regardless of the star's surprising way of behaving, including the strange darkening and lighting up cycles. There's no certainty about when Betelgeuse will at last arrive at the end of its life. Some estimate that it may still require a huge number of years before the star explodes, yet others believe it might happen a whole lot earlier, conceivably within the following couple of years or even months. The uncommon information accumulated by these powerful telescopes, alongside the star's flighty behavior, has kept researchers nervous. They are cautiously checking what is happening, utilizing each instrument available to them to identify any unpretentious changes that could indicate a cosmic explosion is not too far off. When Betelgeuse does at long last detonate, it will send shock waves through the universe, delivering an enormous amount of energy. The blast will momentarily eclipse the whole universe, apparent even from Earth, as brilliant as the full moon. While this occasion will be a tremendous, enormous showcase, it won't represent an immediate danger to Earth, as the star is situated more than 600 light-years away. Anyway, the cosmic explosion will provide a significant opportunity for researchers to concentrate on the last phases of a huge star's life and the peculiarities related to such a brutal occasion. Betelgeuse's approaching destruction isn't simply a logical interest. It is an indication of the immeasurability and capriciousness of the universe. Stars like Betelgeuse play a basic role in the life cycle of worlds, enriching the universe with the components required for new stars, planets, and possibly life itself. The demise of such a star isn't an end, but rather a transformation, as it releases weighty components that will ultimately seed new heavenly frameworks. Meanwhile, researchers continue to observe Betelgeuse and its behavior, sorting out the riddle of its future. With each new disclosure, the mystery grows, and our understanding of the universe expands. Maybe before very long, we will witness one of the most uncommon occasions in the universe. Betelgeuse has changed from a huge red supergiant into a stunning cosmic explosion. Up until that point, the sky will remain a material of marvel, with Betelgeuse shining brilliantly, an indication of the transient nature of life in the universe.
As we continue to track Betelgeuse, the mystery surrounding its destiny grows. Space experts are particularly focused on the way that this star is approaching the end of its life cycle, and its unpredictable conduct is a hint that something uncommon is preparing. It's significant to recall that supernovae are not the last stage for all stars. For instance, more modest stars like our Sun will end their lives in a much calmer manner, shedding their external layers and leaving behind a white dwarf. Anyway, Betelgeuse is a gigantic red supergiant, which means that when it dies, it will go out with a fabulous bang, far different from the slow blurring of smaller stars. The sheer size of Betelgeuse makes it an intriguing subject for study. With a sweep multiple times bigger than the Sun, assuming it were placed at the center of our planetary system, it would extend past the orbit of Mars. This provides you with a feeling of exactly how huge it is contrasted with the Sun, which is already a giant by the standards of most stars. The size of Betelgeuse implies that it has consumed tremendous amounts of fuel in the course of its life. And as it approaches the finish of its life, its center is quickly falling under the power of gravity. This breakdown is what at last triggers the fierce blast of a cosmic explosion. The cycle leading to the blast of Betelgeuse is perplexing. As it approaches supernova status, the center of the star begins to contract and heat up while its external layers grow and cool. This creates an unstable environment with occasional fluctuations in brightness. These changes in brightness, like the dimming event seen in 2019, are signs that the star is entering a period of rapid change. This darkening might be connected to an outpouring of material from the star's surface, which briefly darkens its light. Regardless of these fluctuations, Betelgeuse continues to radiate light, though unusually, making it an interesting object for study. The possibility that Betelgeuse may be a contender for a nearby supernova has drawn the attention of space agencies and specialists all over the world. With current devices like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope, researchers are gathering an unusual amount of information on the star. These telescopes allow us to observe Betelgeuse in frequencies that were previously difficult to reach, like infrared. Furthermore, they provide insight into the star's inner cycles. In addition to their observations, researchers are also using advanced models to simulate the behavior of massive stars like Betelgeuse. These models help specialists predict the star's future behavior and estimate the timeline for when it will detonate. While the exact timing of Betelgeuse's cosmic explosion remains uncertain, the current data suggests that it could happen sooner rather than later. Some forecasts propose that the blast could happen within the next few years, while others speculate it could take several thousand years. No matter the timeline, Betelgeuse's approaching destruction will undoubtedly be a milestone event in the study of heavenly evolution. Despite the fact that the blast of Betelgeuse won't present an immediate danger to Earth, it will still provide researchers with an important opportunity to study the last moments of a massive star's life. By observing this event, astronomers will gain a better understanding of how such explosions contribute to the formation of new elements in the universe. These elements are crucial for the formation of planets and life, linking the death of stars to the birth of new cosmic structures.